Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these videos. I know how you all love seeing transformations on bit and nails and I love completing them. So today I have another video for you guys with bit and nails. Extensions are a great way of kicking the habit of biting your nails. So I'm starting off by carefully moving some of the cuticle back with an orange stick. Then I'm taking a truncated diamond cone bit with blue abrasion. I'm using this bit to remove the dry cuticle and also using it to file down some of the natural nail. The natural nail needs to be filed down a bit for adhesion of the material. When my client was a child, she damaged her middle finger's nail, so she has a scar there. And because of that scar, the skin and cuticle have grown out to the same length leaving the shape of the cuticle here a little unnatural. Therefore, not only with my nail drill, but with all of the tools that I will be using today, I'm working around the skin and not trying to remove it or push it back whatsoever. The cells are completely alive there, so I'm not touching it, I'm only cleaning up the dry cuticle. I left a little more cuticle on this nail and the ring fingers nail than I normally would because my client started feeling a little bit of discomfort when removing the cuticle with the scissors. And this is totally normal because her skin isn't used to a manicure cleanup, so it's better to gradually work up to a full cleanup and not do everything at once. Further, I am dehydrating her nails, applying a primer and a rubber base coat. 
As always, with all material, it's important to avoid having any applied to the skin. So I'm taking my time and carefully going around the skin on my client's middle fingers now. I've let the base cure underneath the lamp and now for our poly gel. However, we're not building the extensions quite yet, we're simply preparing for them. So I've taken a small bead of poly gel and have placed it at the end of my client's nail, and then I'm distributing out the material. This here is going to act as the foundation for her extension. A long time ago, nail techs really suffered doing extensions with these types of nails, since they used gel and didn't have something like poly gel. And of course, gel runs, which makes it really difficult to manipulate and reform bitten nails. After the poly gel has cured, I'm filing down the free edge. And now for the most interesting part, applying the nail forms to our new free edge. At this step, we started discussing today's design, and my client wants something really unexpected and unique. She wants to do a glittery aquarium design. Therefore, we are going to have to add a little more length on the free edge. For the sparkle, we've chosen this beautiful semi-transparent confetti glitter from a Russian company called Global Fashion. I'm coating the free edge of my client's nails and applying the glitter directly on top. Then we're letting them cure underneath the lamp. Then I'm coating her entire nail in the same transparent gel, which is both sealing the glitter and creating her nail structure. For this step, I'm not using a poly gel. Because poly gel isn't 100% clear, you will be able to see the gel's grains. We've let that cure, and now I'm filing down any unevenness. If we look at her nails closely from the side, we can see some volume near the cuticle. And this is due to the fact that this is the only area with a natural nail. However, in this case, you don't want to add any more thickness to the free edge of her nail, as it will add excess weight and will cause an injury. So we're going to be patient, and once her natural nails have grown out more, we'll be able to take down some of that volume. After filing her nails, I'm switching to a ball bit and lightly buffing everything up. Finishing off today, I'm using this camouflage base in order to mask the short nail plate and give an elegant gradient effect. Now all that's left is our top coat. And our huge transformation is complete. I had so much fun with this set and I was really excited to receive some feedback from my client telling me how wonderfully her extensions are holding on and how happy she is. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.